for extra people pay for your membership. You pay for your admission admin fee. You were the same person asking everybody to pay for your um your application fee, application fee. But you now, 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 now. You to my oh, live with my mama. I'm living with my mama. I'm living with my mama. I'm not gonna get on live with no bitch. So she, let me tell y'all something about this lady, and let me tell y'all about something about Ty. What Ty would do is, after I sat right here, after some days ago, I just sat right here and told y'all that I, don't, I ain't even gonna keep arguing with him. And I know I told y'all that. But remind y'all, I have not said nothing about a person since that day when Angel didn't sit on my live and we was talking about the situation and I let it go. I have not said nothing about the person. Today, I'm at the fucking studio with my cousin while he in there rapping. People sending me DMs. I'm like, what's going on? Why y'all sending me DMs? And if y'all think I'm lying, I can show y'all the DM. People were sending me DMs. All I hear this person talking about me. Talking about my son. I have not said anything about a person. I have not spoke on a person. But every time y'all, and it's like every time I speak on something, y'all try to make it seem like I'm speaking on this person first. I wasn't even saying this person. This person was not on my mind. This person got on live speaking about me. That I wasn't even speaking on this person. Just that when I was drunk, I didn't even say nothing bad about that person. I came on up on Maggie Live and I was talking to Maggie and I was drunk. And what they said I was saying, they said I didn't even say nothing about this boy. So for him to get on live today and speaking about me, that goes to show y'all what type of person he is. That he's a clock chaser. Because guess what? He keeps speaking on he keeps speaking about me when I don't speak about him. That's a clock chase. But my question is, if you claim you don't like me, you claim, why do you keep speaking about me? You talk about my son, you talk about my dad, you talk about me. Why do you keep talking about us, hoe? Can y'all hear me? But now you're living with your mama. But now, mama, you trying to make you trying to make it seem like, oh, we talking about you, talking about how you're living, bitch. You was just out here trying to get an apartment home until you got denied because of that crap pipe. So now you're trying to make it seem like, oh, 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 is that the wrong with living my, with my mama? Oh, you were just telling everybody, you know, you know, it'd be your father that go and keep up stuff. One thing leads to another, really needs one of y'all responding, y'all, and see who really keep up much. Um, Lily half of the live, going live to lie, not just her. Yes, I hear you. Yes. Like, you going, you, you, you keep, you like, you, like, my question is, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Y'all remember when we when we first got argument? I said he been stop feeling me when I asked him about what if his nigga was sick or whatever. Will he still be with the nigga? And he, and he told y'all that he stopped feeling me then. Boom. If you if you quote unquote stop feeling me when I quote unquote said it to you, bitch. One thing about me, I would have cut you out right in the there. It would have been no. It wouldn't been no. I been feeling like that. It would have been bitch. Why would you even try me, bitch? Why would you even try my suck my man? That's one. It wouldn't be no, oh, I'm still hanging around this bitch. I'm still be cool with this bitch, even though this bitch don't try me. No, bitch. The first time you fucked up with me, bitch, is over with. Hope we get in the argument, we get and we done with each other. So if you felt, if you felt in your heart that I quote unquote said that to you about your man, why the fuck you said that then? They go to show you, bitch, you were you ain't about that life. Cause bitch, I'll be damned if a nigga sitting right here in my motherfucking face and he telling me, oh, what if your nigga come out being. Uh, it, HIV person, would you still be with him? No, I would have said, bitch, get the fuck out of my face. Why would you even ask me that as a friend? But you didn't do that if you quote unquote said I said it. So that means you, that mean you saying you was, you been stop feeling me, but you kept coming to my house. You kept putting your, getting your fat ass in the front seat in my car, snoring, ho. But you stopped feeling the bitch. I'm, I'm confused. Outfit, this and that, like, girl, I don't give a fuck, girl. It's a birthday, boy. I threw on something that I was supposed to be getting my apartment. But in the midst of me getting my apartment, I asked you for your paycheck stub, lady. You couldn't even give it to me, so I had to go through the slime dolls, which Ivana shit kept fucking up and fucked me the fuck up. So it's just like, the fuck, you waited till three months later to give me your paycheck stub, lady. Fuck, I'm gonna do with that. We're not going to be friends. We're not going to be friends. We're not going to be friends. Okay. We're not going to be friends. I understand what I don't. I didn't care. I don't care. Cause I, my parties was fucked up. Cause I was supposed to be getting my apartment, but I didn't. So I don't care. My outfit, the table. Guess what? You sat up and ate at the table, right? 
You ate at the table. Oh, my phone charger. That's why it's like that. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm going to take it off. But I'm just saying my tablecloth, this and that, girl. You ate at the tablecloth. You know? That means he had to be hating. It had to be something. It had to. But, like, I should have known that first time we was in Vegas and we was at the table at Buffalo Wild Wings and everybody was quiet as fuck and it was just silent and I should have known it was some tension, you know, some pressure. You know, I thought it was some pressure. You, I should have known when he came up on my live, say we rolled our eyes and this and that. I should have tapped that ass in Vegas. That would have been a good trip. Because I would have tapped that ass in Vegas and we would have been right then and there. We wouldn't have no ends buts about it. Because you got a car you could have pulled up and, and when we back in Atlanta. But no, it's just, you know, I should have been tapped that ass. Because, like, I was like, huh? I'm sitting here confused. Like, you trying to check me. That's what it was. And he kept on coming to y'all acting like Shamar crazy over the nigga. But Shamar didn't give a fuck. Y'all know how y'all try to make somebody mad and jealous and funny and this and that, girl. That's what he wanted to do in Shamar's face. So it tried to make it seem like Shamar gave a fuck about Ken. You feel me? You remember? So it... That's what it was. He wanted Shamar to react and give a fuck and this and that. Mm -mm. Yeah, like, it backfired. You see, it backfired on you. Then you wanted to say, I traded, I had to pick a side. Boo, I was not picking no side because I wasn't picking a side from the jump. The fuck? But you know what I'm going to do, boo? I'm going to go ahead and solve this motherfucking issue right down the motherfucking slice in the cake. Right, which, which Shamar didn't pay no attention. He kept on nagging Shamar. Like, you know, he kept on trying to do slick shit. Like, twerk, in front of, twerk on Shamar in front of Ken. Then he'd be like, come here, Shamar. He'd be like, grab Ken chest. Grab Ken dick. You know, like, stupid shit. Like, you know, like a manipulator type of shit. Like, I don't know. That's why I left my room. I don't know, girl. I just peeped a whole lot of shit, you know. But I'm not the type of person, you know, to blow the icing on the cake. But, you know, when it, when it's time to blow the icing on the cake, I will blow it. <clears throat> then, when we having fun in Vegas, you know, because what's her name? Um, Geek Daddy, she had took us to the thing. He wanted to come back to town, come back to Vegas. Right, like, girl, sit down. Like, okay, girl, that's your nigga. Sit down. Like, just sit down, girl. But, yeah, like, after my birthday shit and, like, when he went home that first that, um, day after the birthday shit and he, they were supposed to surprise me with the um, cake and the chef and I'm looking like, what the fuck going on? After he did that shit, I started feeling some type of way. I already knew what was up. I knew what was up after that shit. You know, I just had to play my cards right. Because I didn't know when the time was going to cut. When the time we was going to stop being friends, you know. But I still play my cards right. But I never, you know, my eyes never close. I always keep one eye open, you know. So don't never think, oh. Don't never think just because I don't say nothing. I don't say nothing. I don't peep nothing. I just, that's why, I, that's why when I blow up, I blow up because I keep it all in. You know, I keep it all in and then when it's time to go, I go up. That's what I do. I, I do that. That's what I realize I do that. Because at the time, I won't say shit. But when it's time, I will, you know.